Bonjour, today folks, let's have a look at the verb chanter ding, in the future tense. Let's have a look at chanter. Chanter is really easy to conjugate in the future tense. We are going to learn how to say I will sing, you will sing and so on. Now chanter, look, chanting. Okay, that's the way you can remember the word, uh, the verb to sing in French. Okay, chanting, I'm chanting a, a, a song. Okay, now, chanter, to sing in the future tense, is je chanterai, I will sing. So what happens here is that we keep the actual verb chanter with er, okay, and we add these endings, ai, for the future tense. Je chanterai, tu chanteras, you will sing. Il chantera. Elle chantera. On chantera. Okay, one will sing, he will sing, she will sing. Nous chanterons. We will sing. Vous chanterez. Ils chanteront. They will sing. And elles chanteront. They will sing. If you're using a plural feminine, they. Okay? So, quite easy. Have a look at the endings. And these are the endings of the future tense. Okay? Unless you give me these endings, I will not know when this action is happening. And it has to sound like this. Ré, ra, ra, ron, ré, ron. Repeat after me. Ré, ra, ra, ron, ré, ron. Okay? Now, have a look at it again. Je chanterai, tu chanteras, il, elle, on chantera, okay. nous chanterons, vous chanterez, il, elle chanteront. Okay. Now, using the example that I've used already in the present tense and the passé composé, let's have a look what it becomes, what these examples become in the future tense. Je chanterai une chanson pour ma maman pour son anniversaire. I will sing a song for my mom for her birthday. Ok? Nous chanterons dans une chorale tous les mercredis soirs. Nous chanterons. We will sing in a choir every Wednesday. For example, tous les mercredis soirs, every Wednesday evening. Tous les mercredis matin, every Wednesday morning, okay? Now you can add uh, any days, okay? And add morning, matin, après-midi, afternoon, soir, and so on. Ils chanteront très bien. They will sing very well. Ils chanteront très bien. Okay, the très bien comes after the uh, verb. And... Tu ne chanteras pas dans la chorale de l'école. Tu ne chanteras pas dans la chorale de l'école. Ok? Chantera. Now, um, you will notice that sometimes I say chantera and chantera. Ok? I know you've just heard that. I know that. Ok? That's because um, I am trying to articulate, ok, all the verbs. And quite often, French people will say it so fast, as in, nous chanterons dans la chorale de l'école. That was fast. Oh, vous chanterez pour uh, l'anniversaire de ma maman. Okay, now that is quite fast, but that's quite common practice. Okay, so you need to be aware of the speed of French speakers. Okay, now you will not sing in the school choir. Tu ne chanteras pas dans la chorale de l'école. Notice that ne is before the verb and pas after the verb to mark the negation. Now you are going to write a sentence for moi, okay, so I can correct it. That's the best way of learning and practicing, okay? Hopefully that will happen very soon. I uh, cannot wait to uh, see your comments. And why don't you subscribe to my YouTube channel to be kept uh, to what's going on, to keep, be kept what? To uh, be kept aware of what is going on on uh, Learn French with Alexa. Ok, that's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous. Bonjour et bienvenue. Je m'appelle Alexa. Je suis française. Je parle français et anglais. 
Comment ça va Je suis triste. Sorry, it's too much. Okay, another one. And you say R. 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 Okay, now you need to do that at least 1000 times.